Okay, how you guys doing? I uh, hope you like this video and those that are new to this channel. If you want to subscribe, please do so. And so forth. Uh, what I have here is a slider. The reason why I made this slider because some people can't afford it. Or maybe they just don't want to spend, let's say, $200 or $300. The cost of this, I can't really tell you exactly everything, but let's say more or less 30 bucks, less than 100 bucks. But I added some materials. As you can see, I added this material, this material I had it for other stuff. What I didn't have was this. I had to buy that. I had to buy this. I also had to buy those. The magnets, of course, you got to buy them, but I had to spare of those magnets and you can also buy a remote there's a remote some of them are remote or I don't know exactly how they work but I'm not a professional photographer or whatnot so I just decided to make one and what you see here it's on the bottom is an extra magnet an extra magnet and for the purpose of so when you do this it won't fall even though it won't fall because it has an extra magnet on there as you can see so let me just show you briefly you see that's without the magnet and it'll hold but when you put extra weight on it, it'll still hold, but that's just like an emergency thing. And this piece, I had to make it. It's a 26 gauge. Not too sure if you can see that, but it's 26 gauge. I had to bend it, reshape it, and whatnot. So. You're perhaps wondering how does it perform? Well, it performs pretty good. I'm not gonna edit this video either, as in show you how it works because it's just a slider. So if you want to see how it slides, it's very simple. You have the device on there, let's say a cell phone or whatnot, and all you have to do is just slightly move it. And it'll work. It is tight. It is tight for it to move. Of course, it has magnets down there. And it also has magnets in there. And I added these these extra rubbers. So it'll move, I guess, a, just slightly tighter. But I can remove all that. And everything here, it's uh, removable. You can take all this apart. So this is what it does. You unloosen it there. It goes up. Tighten it up. You want to turn it this way or that way, all you have to do, loosen this up, all right, and it'll go this way. As you can see, there you go, nice and soft. It'll move this way or that way, however you want it, and then you just lock it up, and it'll stay there in that position. As you can see, here you loosen this one up. Is that way? And this one would, would move. The reason why it's tight because I have another device that goes on top of this. There you go. And it comes off. Has a little bit of metal, I guess, on it or whatnot, but not a biggie. Excuse me, let me go wash my hands. Okay, the other device that I made is this. You can see here it's acrylic and these things that move there are for the cell phone so when you have it like let's say like this 
the cell phone's on top it won't touch even though it doesn't touch but but you get it so let's put this down is this okay yeah it's okay I have one on the top one on the bottom and I also have one here so whichever way I want to use it I can use it so let's just do it like this if you're wondering where I got this there's these little spray bottles of perfume and they come with this the top goes on top of here the little spray I removed that and this is the part that's in the bottle and you also get this but there are some that don't have this particular spring and for the purpose of that is so this can hold the cell phone tight okay this thing is moving so there it is you see it moves however you want okay so then you do this you tighten that up and you tighten the back up and you'll have your cell phone either this direction or you can have it that direction either or now let me loosen this up because this thing here is kind of loose so I didn't want to buy uh, let's say uh, a $200 device or a $100 device so I just decided on making stuff like this out of spare stuff that I had around and I got creative and I was able to do that okay let me show you demonstration on the phone where it goes So there you go, it doesn't touch anyways, but just in case you want to, let's say, put the phone down a little bit or whatnot, it's there for that purpose. Um, you can also hold it like that. Let me see which other position. It can also, it's a bunch of position it has. Let me turn this like this. The other it has. It's like that. I mean, nobody's going to want to record the floor, like the bottom here, but you could record on the top, as you can see there. The other is that it has if you're wondering the position of the camera and there it is you won't have a problem trust me when I did it I, I make sure that everything it's supposed to be how it's supposed to be and functioning correctly because of course the flash is not going to be there but who records at night I mean that doesn't make any sense I mean there's people that record at night but I mean for certain people like me like I'm not going to use the flash for that I'd rather use if I'm using this type of equipment I'll use something like let's say uh flashlight or something you know something with better lighting and whatnot uh, what else can I tell you this material you're not gonna find it which is this one also you're not gonna find it at Home Depot or whatnot but you are gonna find these there you can this is from another the actual gold looking one is from an actual device 
I think a tripod that I used to have and it broke. It gave out on me and whatnot. So I decided to take it apart and use certain pieces. I, this is the piece that I'm recording with is a is a piece from the tripod also and this is also another piece from the tripod. So there are two pieces working in two different things. But it's something nice. I'm not a professional fo uh, videotape, uh, video camera guy or videotape guy, but it's pretty good for like, you know, for small stuff. Like small stuff, I could just slide it nice and easy, as you can see, and I can also slide this one. You know, not the camera's there, but so you would want to slide it like on this side. Nice and smooth. And turn it like that and so forth the wing nut is there I don't have to have to unscrew it a little bit so this won't tap on there or I can just jack it up a little bit more and I won't have that problem but it's something neat this they don't have them in stores so I suggest you you make one like I did and remember these things what I told you they're from those little spray bottles the perfume for women some have those springs that are that size and some have little ones you got to find the one that has that and you keep the the one that's attached to the actual bottle which is this if it's right on this uh what do you call these things this uh bar and the gauge, not the gauge, but the size on that is is the green one. If you go to Home Depot or Home Depot, however you call that, or a hardware store, any Lowe's or whatever hardware stores you have around your area, here in America, they label it as a green. Let me see if this one has it. No, I took it off. It has a green on it, and that's the one that I use. The reason why, because of this, this material, if you want to find it, uh, I have no idea where to get it. I found this just like I found the acrylic at acrylic shop. And what I did is I asked the guy uh, if he had any spare acrylic. And sometimes they do and sometimes they don't. When they don't have any acrylic for you, you go to the dumpster. And you tell them, can I is there is can I get it from the dumpsters there if there's some there? And then you can just get like big pieces in there and you can achieve it. Also with this, this this and this were in the same place. But this I got it at an earlier time. This acrylic, I found it also at an earlier time. And what I do is I save it. I save these materials because maybe you won't need it today, but tomorrow you might you might need it, you know, more or less. These rubber things, you can find it at Home Depot or at Lowe's. These are O-rings that I put on there. I don't necessarily need it, but I put it on there for... It, not to grip this, but because when I made this, it, ha it was just off by just a wee bit. So I, it kind of bothered me. So I went ahead and put these rubbers, and that's it. And that's what it did. It made it... Uh, you know how I wanted it and as you can see you see how it's out a little bit you see how that goes in like that because I, I can literally take all this apart I don't I didn't want to glue anything in there I didn't want to glue any uh, magnets on there or whatnot and that's how how I did that but yeah it's a pretty cool uh, device as you can see, you can slide it like that. That's the cool part that I like. And you can also have this. Upside down. And you can record upside down. As you can see. That's why the emergency one that I put up there is there for can also have it on the side it's well done I took my time in doing this I didn't you know I, I try to perfect all the little areas that had problems and whatnot where it didn't hold 
And this here also has magnets. They have four magnets on them. You can buy the actual, you know, big one on this, uh, on this little thing here. I don't know what it's called. You can also find this at Lowe's or Depot, Home Depot. And you can also find those there. And that's about it, I think. Oh, and these holes, you can also find them uh, at Home Depot, I think, if I'm not mistaken. You can find them, but I didn't get those there. I got those somewhere else that I've, I've had and I saved and whatnot. And this is my old phone, LG, Sty uh, Stylo or Stilo, whatever you call that. It has a, it's a pretty good phone. It's old already, but it's, it's done a pretty remarkable job on the things that I do on it. And there you have it. If you have any comments, questions, or whatnot, please uh, let me know. And I also have a comic book out there. If you want, you can look down on my videos and you'll find it there. If you want to buy it, it's at Amazon. Do not buy the one that says Art Book 777. That book is a total failure. Do not to me, but due to the fact of the companies or company that work. That, uh, the other book that I have is called... I'll put the link on the description if you want. Uh, if I want, no, I, I'll put it there. The What was I saying? Oh, the book. The book, I published it with Amazon, and that book came out really, really good. They did a phenomenal job on that. I give them props for that. And it's called Star Gears. And you can find it there. It's a really good book and whatnot. Well, let me not get off topic here. So, there you have it. I don't have photos of the actual build. As in, not actual photos. Like, you know how people edit it? And have it like that so you can have an idea. Uh, how people edit it and, and show you, you know, the process, the due process of it. I don't have the due process. This thing here on the bottom is acrylic, as you can see. It's acrylic. What else? Uh, oh, these other little things here, those screws, you can also find them at Home Depot. They're special screws. Uh, what else? This wing nut. I call them butterflies, but I found out they're called wing nut. I had to put a screw in there and put another one and JB weld that. And that's solid. That That's not going to ever come loose unless I force it. But for the moment, that's it. Uh, the bottom, what it has is these things. I don't know where, what place that I got them from, but they're not rubber. It's kind of like a foam thing. I'm not too sure and what else but yeah other than that it's pretty good i uh, hope you liked the video thank you for the comments if you left any comments and i am out